Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Jumpa kembali dengan Pecinta Ilmu Channel ya Kali ini kita posting tentang Sekolah calon prajurit Marinir ya Di Amerika Jadi US Marine Corps ya Jadi di si Amerika itu ada 4 angkatan Angkatan Darat, Laut, Udara dan Corps Marinir Yang tersendiri Jadi untuk rekrut uh, calon prajurit Marinir Mereka langsung membuka pendaftaran ya selama kurang lebih 13 minggu dalam pembentukan uh, prajurit marinir jadi prajurit marinir ini paling banyak uh, berperang ya di Amerika ya maksud saya perang di luar Amerika krisis global makanya marinir Amerika yang akan turun ya perang di mana mana ya mulai dari Vietnam Korea, Afghanistan, Irak, kemudian Timur Tengah dan lain sebagainya itu Corps Marinir yang lebih banyak turun daripada Angkatan Darat. Kira-kira demikian. Uh, jadi langsung saja dilihat videonya, mulai dari proses rekrut ya sampai dengan selesai. Mudah-mudahan bermanfaat bagi kita semua. Sebenarnya saya pengen posting tentang pelatihan uh, tentara Indonesia ya tapi sangat sulit untuk mendapatkan footage yang lengkap ya, dengan keterangannya jadi kita ambil saja yang di Amerika ya yang free footage uh, no copyright dan bisa kita pakai sebagai sarana pembelajar demikian semoga bermanfaat bagi kita semua Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Salam pecinta ilmu. Proper sight alignment with the reticle combat optic and proper trigger control. They will put what they learned into practice via snapping in, where recruits dry fire on targets to practice the techniques they have learned. The following week is range week, or table one. Recruits fire live ammunition and their marksmanship is evaluated from several distances. Recruits shoot from the 200 yard line, 300 yard line, and 500 yard line using all the positions they learned during grass week, such as the sitting, kneeling, standing, and prone positions. Every recruit must pass Table 1 qualification in order to proceed to the next phase of recruit training. Phase 3. Phase 3 of recruit training introduces recruits to field skills and combat tactics. They will undergo Table 2, the second half of their rifle qualification. Here recruits use more advanced rifle and movement techniques like position changes, multiple target engagement, moving target engagement, and speed reload drills. Unlike Table 1, recruits wear a Kevlar and flak jacket and engaged targets at both the 25 and 100 yard lines. Next, recruits take their combat fitness test, or CFT. This test assesses a recruit's physical capacity in a spectrum of combat-related tasks. Recruits sprint for a half a mile, lift 30-pound ammunition cans for two minutes, and perform the maneuver under fire, a timed 300-yard shuttle run where recruits must do sprints, low and high crawls, a body drag, a fireman's carry, an ammo can carry, push-ups, and a grenade throw. Basic Warrior Training, or BWT, teaches recruits several field skills such as land navigation, hand and arm signals, fire and movement, and detecting improvised explosive devices, or IEDs. These different field skill sets are absolutely vital for various combat situations. Next, Recruits complete their final drill evaluation. This evaluation puts all of their drill movements and discipline to the test. Before they tackle the final culminating event, recruits are tested on their overall physical fitness by doing the physical fitness test, or PFT. Here recruits are evaluated on pull-ups or push-ups, crunches or planks, and a three-mile run for score. Finally, before becoming Marines, the recruits will encounter their most difficult challenge yet, the Crucible. The Crucible is the final test of recruit training, a 54-hour evolution that puts a recruit's physical, 
mental, and moral training to the ultimate test. Recruits will receive limited rations of food and only eight hours of sleep throughout this 54-hour cycle. They begin by hiking six miles in the middle of the night to Page Field, the crucible site. All recruits go through several events during the crucible designed to exhaust them physically and mentally while evaluating what they have learned at recruit training. The recruits will overcome stresses that they never thought they could conquer before. Some of these events include the day movement course, where each recruit must navigate obstacles such as high walls, barbed wire, low crawls, and buddy rushes. Another event is the Battle of Fallujah, where recruits work together as a team and low crawl several yards while transporting ammunition cans to the finishing area. The very last event of the Crucible is a 12-mile hike. Following the hike, recruits move from Page Field to the parade deck to receive what they've been working so hard for, their eagle, globe, and anchor, the emblem of the Marine Corps. The eagle, globe, and anchor ceremony signifies their transformation from recruit to United States Marines. Phase four is the last phase before the new Marines graduate recruit training. The drill instructors will transition from trainers of recruits to mentors of Marines. The Marines will no longer address their drill instructor as sir or ma'am, but rather by the drill instructor's respective rank. These new Marines will be taught various subjects that are critical to success and growth in all aspects of their personal and professional lives. In small group discussions, drill instructors teach the Marines about the Fleet Marine Force, how to act as a Marine, preserving core values, and driver safety, among other topics. The Marines will also go through the battalion commander's inspection. Here, the battalion commander will inspect each new Marine's uniform in preparation for their transition to the Fleet Marine Force. On family day, the Marines participate in the motivational run and see their families for the first time since entering recruit training. The Marines spend the day with their families and are able to visit parts of the island. Finally, the milestone and end of recruit training, graduation. Here the Marines are released from their 13 weeks of recruit training by their drill instructors and spend the rest of the day with their families until they transition to the next phase of their professional careers.